Uh, so, Coach, what's one thing that you want in your position group to really improve on going into fall camp? Mm, I think, uh, you know, just uh, cons the consistency of our execution overall. I just think that, uh, you know, we did a lot of really nice things in the spring, but really being in the playbook and, and consistently um, executing what their, their job requirements are. Yeah, how, how good did it feel for you to have two of your Idaho State players come over here? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, anytime you, you get players that, that want to come and be a part of something with you um, is, a, is a very uh, rewarding feeling. You know, it, it tells you, you know, that, hey, man, I did my job. You know, those guys believe enough in me, you know, and, and then obviously the, the reputation of Coach Baldwin um, and, and, and Coach Gillingham uh, as far as X goes, um, you know, and then, you know, Ian. Uh, and actually, we got a third one, too. Uh, Isaiah Holm, who, who walked on as an offensive lineman here. So we actually have three. Um, just the belief that, that we, we are going to do something special here. So there, it's a very rewarding feeling. Yeah, what's one goal that you have for your position? Um, I, I think that uh, to be one of the most dominant uh, units on the field. I think, uh, you know, when you talk, you know, because we got two different, two different facets, you know, from the specialists, okay, we talked about them here in just a second when you talk about the defensive ends. Um, you know, I think those guys have a, a, a possessive ability to be dominant pass rushers this season. And I think that they, they can cause some problems for teams uh, this fall. So that would be, you know, I would I would want them to be a, a, the, one of the most dominant units on the field when they play. And then from a the specialist standpoint, I would want these guys, and I think with a senior-laden group, three seniors, um, I would want them to have the most consistent year, um, you know, that, that they've ever had in their college careers. And I think all three of them are capable of doing that. And if, if both units do that, we're going to win a bunch of football games. Yeah, how much of an advantage does it give you when you bring in transfers that have so much experience? Yeah, I think that obviously uh, anytime you can play live reps of, of major college football, it's an advantage, you know. Now you got to get here and, and learn the surroundings, uh, the facilities, the coaches, the playbook. All of those things are could potentially be distractions. But when you get actually to the fact of it's live football and having that experience of playing, uh, it's priceless. Yeah, how going along the same lines, how comfortable are you getting here, uh, going back to being an assistant coach and then being like saying, relearning everything once again? Well, I think I don't know if it's relearning everything. That's you know, you certainly have to, um, uh, you know, obviously coaching on the defensive side of the ball. I certainly got to get accustomed to what Coach Ward wants to do defensively. Obviously, you know, uh, I'm going to do what I know and, and what we've done. And, and uh, um, you know, with some wrinkles, obviously, some additions. From a special team standpoint, I've been doing that my whole career. Um, but I, I think when you've, become, when you've been a head coach before and you come back to an assistant role, it makes you a better assistant because you understand what that head coach is going through, you know, in that office. It's, you know, most of it's not football, and, and you want to try and do the best job you can possibly do for him to keep stuff off of his desk. And, and so uh, I'm excited about the opportunity, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. How good do you think the ASU special teams can be this year? Well, I, I'm, I'm very, very op, uh, optimistic. I, like I said, I mentioned, you know, with three senior specialists and uh, – I feel like we, we have some really, really good athleticism in, with this team. And I think that's a, that's a combination to, to have some, some very successful special teams units. You know, proof's in the pudding. We've got to go out and execute and, and perform at a high level. But I'm very optimistic. Yeah, same question for the edges, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I said earlier, I, you know, when I say that I expect them to be one of the most dominant units on the field, that's a bold statement, you know. And so uh, with that, obviously, we've come in a immense amount of success. And I, I think these guys um, have the ability to, to work and perform at a very high level, and, and I'm excited to watch them do it. Who are some of the players that you're most excited to see at the edge position? Well, I mean, I don't know if there's one I'm more excited to see than another, but I think that, you know, when, when you start looking at those guys, um, I think, you know, we talked about B.J. Green first with, the, you know, the experience of productivity. Um, I think, you know, uh, Mike Matus, a veteran coming back, is certainly going to add some stability to our unit. Um, I think, obviously, the two addition transfers in, in, in Clayton 
ask. But then, and Prince Dorba are going to uh, are going to really add to the to the talent level. And then I'm excited uh, to to see Garen Stansberry as well. I think we've got some 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 deep rotation in that thing. I think Elijah O'Neill uh, is another young man that could provide a spark this uh, this fall camp. So uh, it's a pretty deep group that I think has some really really good talent. 